One of the executive orders President Biden signed will rejoin the Paris Climate Agreement, and in 30 days, the U.S. will be formally readmitted. Local 22's Jolie Sherman spoke with two UVM professors on the matter. We are back with a seat at the table. University of Vermont's Amy Seidel, Associate Director of the Environmental Program, says she's proud to see the U.S. rejoin the Paris Agreement. I think that that's very important to the U.S.'s role in international decision making and international governance. Seidel defines the agreement as an opportunity to address the challenges of climate change as a global community. Almost every country is part of the agreement and it's not legally binding. Withdrawing itself didn't have any real impact because it's a international agreement that doesn't actually require anybody to do anything. Geopolitical professor Robert Bartlett says the nation's withdrawal from the agreement during Trump's presidency was more of a symbolic gesture. It's become unfortunately politicized where a very high uh, proportion of Republicans have been persuaded that uh, climate change is, is imaginary. We have all kinds of treaties and trade agreements and relationships with countries all around the world. And if they're doing their part and we're not, around a global phenomenon, that's just not good citizenship. But now the nation is making a comeback, and in 30 days, we'll be readmitted. Professor Bartlett says much of the country's commitment to reducing emissions comes from the state and local level. Sponsored or created organizations like Efficiency Vermont have done a great job in improving the energy efficiency of buildings in Vermont, particularly residential housing. Seidel says even her students are motivated to address climate change on campus. They can put in their own proposals about how to tackle climate change in, on campus. Um, one of those proposals is to look at ways to offset the way we travel. Jolie Sherman, Local 22 News.